Hey, this is Verbal Peak Radio. I'm back at you, everyday people. This is where we give you a verbal image of life. Now, check it out. To all the sisters that's out there spreading knowledge and information that's doing their part to help bring this thing together, thank you. I applaud you. Men. We have to settle our differences and stop killing one another because we all heard the same saying. When a black man kills another black man, he's doing the job for the KKK for them. In other words, you working for them to eliminate your brother or to eliminate yourself you actually participating unwillingly and unknowingly against your own demise but how do they pull that off subliminal messaging where they create a role in Hollywood and we play that role but they know if anybody who actually acts out that in real life they even show you the end in the movie this this is how it's going to wind up in prison or dead they even give the scenario in the movie and we still go right along and play the same part See, that has to stop because he shouldn't be able to fool us today. And a lot of people are waking up by the thousands. And any brother that's out there on some serious, some real conscious knowledge that's kicking some real conscious facts any anybody that's out there that's doing that that's providing that service to the people stop downing each other they want that that's creating division If you have a problem with what someone said, then you sit down diplomatically and you iron out the situation to where you can come to a conclusion that both parties can live with. You don't put the negative thought or the negative energy on your brother because you disagree with something he said. Get the facts. Ask the question. And understand that that individual has the right to live out whatever God he sees. And you have to remember Satan is a God too. Which means that If the action is not of God, it's going to fade away anyway. But in his time, that's why nobody knows the day nor the hour. Because it's on his time. But mathematics is correct. The universe is is in existence. So that means that itself checks itself. So what's in the dark will always come to the light. How do you stay in the light? Keep studying. Keep presenting 
a positive message coming from your heart positive. And if people understand it, that's cool. If they don't, that's fine too because you know the place where it came from and you know its original and its origin and its uh, destination of where you want to channel that message. You know if you put something out there, whether, whether it was meant to help or do harm, when you put it out in the universe. So we got to stop playing the games. You think people can't tell or see if you throwing something negative out into the universe. They can't pick up on it. But with all of these awake minds today. You can't tell that people are waking up. And they claiming their own destiny. Like Brother Farrakhan said, this the this is the best generation. They're fearless. They just have to be taught right. And you can't teach them right when you got this group trying to listen to this brother, but then he downs this brother and this brother. You know, they ain't they not they don't want to get involved in all that. They want knowledge. They want to move out. These youngsters want to learn. They want to build. And they want to be respected. As a black man. They understand. The contributions. Of their forefathers. That was made. To this nation. They understand what they went through and what they passed down to the next generation um, subliminally not purposely done but they passed it down in a way that put fear into the, that next generation put fear into that next generation Fear as in I can't recognize the God within or I can't stand up on my own unless I get into a confrontation with a white person or it comes to a time where they feel as though they can't achieve all that they want because they don't want to fight racism at the top. So they find a comfortable spot or a comfortable position that they can deal with and say, I just work out of this bag and I'm not worried about uh, going above because I don't want the hassle. Because when I, every time I step out my comfort zone, I'm fighting racism. But you have to keep pushing because the universe is always creating. It's moving. It's vast. This planet is moving. It's rotating. Rotating. It's constantly moving. So that tells you that as we move forward in time, the things of old, or the things that was new at that time will become old at a later date in the future. So that means that anything that is not just can't survive in time that's a universal law because this because this whole universe even the human beings on this planet was created to lean towards the creator so your very nature 
you'll be fighting yourself when the creation of you was taught to be upright but outside influences or temptations cause you to be otherwise so it's always going to be that fight and that struggle and and I'm just kicking mathematics I'm kicking what is or what will be if this act is applied positive or negative and that was the whole reason on why I wrote the book Consequences and that's Consequence by Vince Cole Muhammad the purpose of the book was to show that you live by your choices to make the correct choice gather all the knowledge about the choice about the pros and cons so you can make the best possible decision for yourself because there's a consequence that comes along with that decision so if you make a positive decision then the consequence is you water it you put work into it do positive work and then the fruit it bears down the line is the consequence of your work that you put in you put in negative work and you put in negative work and you keep feeding it and feeding it till it grows into a monster out of control that you can't handle in the end then you hit rock bottom then you ask the creator can you save me out of this situation I apologize and then you make your deal we all go through that but the purpose today is to catch on the information and move forward without experiencing uh, what would it be like if I hit rock bottom and then come back up we had a time where knowledge is present you don't have to hit rock bottom build where you at and grow and keep growing whoever wherever it may be wherever you at start building keep grinding building work your thing keep growing don't worry about judging others for what they may have or what they're doing you know unless you in the context of scripture or your religious beliefs I'm talking about building your destiny with the power of your mind in this universe in this vast universe and the understanding of what you put out into the universe is what you will get back from the universe I'm talking about on that level where you uh, checking yourself, running the math on yourself, understanding, research, gathering information, gathering knowledge, and then move forward. I'm talking about on that level of thinking. You know, we got a lot, a lot of work ahead of us. We're going to keep on pushing.